coaching is has nothing to do with the person that you ask to help you to provide you with the solution or the answer. Mm. If you look at it, if coaching in and of itself is helping you to discover the answer. It's not drawing up the little play on the little mini whiteboard and then get the ball to LeBron. You are the source of the answer. And for me, that's the biggest secret. If we could make this, everybody understand, especially business people listening, you have the answer. You may not have really looked at everything and what you're asking somebody as a coach to help you with is to explore all these options and then decide now that I can see them because we had this really meaningful, deep conversation. Now I can decide which one I want to take and make my own and mm-hmm. then have the coach in the secondary role after the discovery to help you along and really start yeah. filling it with life. And which is oftentimes also very desired, especially in the business community where we are all super, super busy is holding you accountable to really make the change. Right. That's why a secondary quote unquote secret that I would say, if that's allowed is you want your coach to have a concept on how you will be able to apply this change, not just to yourself, but also to the people that you engage if you do it in right. business. And yeah. I mentioned to you, John Cotter, Leading Change, or what I actually recommend to anybody listening, get that little book called Our Iceberg is Melting, mm. that talks about change in a really, really nice way. And that's my philosophy. That's how I help people to actually live into and execute on the change. There are a hundred million other ways on how people can help others in coaching and mentoring to afford the change. But I believe as a secondary secret, you want to be able to ask your coach, okay, so if I discover my way and now I need to make these changes, how will you help me make that happen? 